Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. When Kane Dingle revealed Zack Dingle's passing, Emmerdale viewers couldn't stop crying. Kane, the son of Steve Hallowell's character Zack, was not informed of the devastating news of his father's death until Monday. Debbie Dingle, distraught, called Moira Barton to tell her that Zack had passed away a few minutes earlier. The farmer told her husband Kane the heartbreaking news of his father Zack's passing, fighting back tears. Kane was shocked to learn of his father's passing during the most recent visit to the hamlet because he had only seen him a few hours before. He confided in Moira, saying, I saw him this morning and he promised he'd take it easy. Moira replied, he told Debbie it was the best morning ever, and then he nodded off in his chair with a big grin on his face, and when she went to wake him, she couldn't, according to Leeds Live. Kane was tasked with the tough duty of breaking the devastating news to the rest of the Dingle family. A tearful Kane joined Belle, Eden Taylor Draper, and her older brother Sam, James Hooten, as they remembered about their father. Classical music underlined an emotional sequence in which Kane also broke the news to Charity Chaz, Marlon, and Mandy, played by Lisa Riley, when he informed them that their cherished father had passed away. The devastating scene left Emmerdale viewers crying, and they swiftly rushed to social media to share their feelings. Definitely the saddest hashtag Emmerdale episode in history, one user commented. Emmerdale got me crying again, especially when Kane told all the family about Zack passing away hashtag Emmerdale, shared a second viewer, who was brought to tears. A third said, I started to get emotional then. I haven't shed a tear in years. Hashtag Emmerdale, one person wrote, while another said, that broke my heart. The cast and family must have found it really difficult. Experiencing his two deaths in hashtag Emmerdale. OMG Emmerdale, that was heartbreaking, lamented one fan, and oh my days, Emmerdale is actually heartbreaking, agreed another, with the passing of actor Steve Hallowell, the ITV soap opera sadly says goodbye to its popular character, Zack Dingle, this week. Steve, who played the renowned part in the well-liked drama set in Yorkshire for nearly 30 years, died in December 2023 at the age of 77. Since their debut on our screens in 1994, the Dingle family has developed into Emmerdale's largest family, with many generations now leading fulfilling lives. Zack's family will come together to honor the beloved man and share memories as the community comes to terms with his passing. In upcoming scenes, Moira Dingle's unsettling condition puts her and Ruby Fox Milligan in jeopardy. Will they escape unscathed? In the meantime, Kane Dingle acts violently toward his son Nate Robinson. When Nate leaves the village, will his relationships with his loved ones suffer as a result? At last, Will Taylor receives a new threat from his unidentified blackmailer. Point four spoilers for Emmerdale for next week. Ruby Fox Milligan is attacked by Moira Dingle Moira who is acting more and more strangely, seems to have had a tender moment with Nate. Moira doesn't know what's wrong, but he's horrified. Caleb Milligan had witnessed everything from a slightly different perspective, and Kane is in shock after learning about Moira's kiss with Nate. Moira downplays the situation, and when Kane doesn't believe her, Moira storms out. Later, while Kane is furious with her for her transgression, Moira experiences a brief flash of deja vu shocked and anxious, Moira smacks Kane, who then leaves Ruby goes to the barn to gloat, but when Moira doesn't reply to the taunts, Ruby starts to feel bad for her. Tense as Moira spills tractor gasoline in the barn, Ruby's speech starts to sound like Emma Barton, Moira's former adversary. Unrecognizable, Moira padlocks the barn and points her firearm at a startled Ruby. 2. The barn explodes, trapping Moira and Ruby. Ruby is startled when Moira shoots a warning shot into the air because she still sees Emma rather than her. When the shot strikes a light bulb, a spark ignites, leading to a struggle for the shotgun between Moira and Ruby. Ruby suffers a blow to the head from Moira, but when she emerges from her trance, Moira is disoriented. Suddenly, a spark ignites the tractor gasoline, starting a fire. Moira freezes, defenseless against Ruby's limp body. After noticing the smoke, Mackenzie Boyd tries in vain to get in touch with Moira. John Sugden and Mac both move in the direction of the barn as he dashes over to the quad bike. When Mac alerts Kane, Caleb, and Chaz Dingle about the fire, they immediately hurry to the location. Chaz needs to stop Kane from running into the burning barn to get to his wife, even though he is furious with her. 
They are all thrown to the ground by a massive explosion, but who will survive? 3. After taking a severe thrashing from Kane Dingle, Nate Robinson leaves? Tracy, Nate's separated wife, has consented to accompany him in Shetland with their daughter Frankie, following their recent infidelity. Tracy is devastated when Caleb confronts Nate about what he witnessed with Moira. When a furious Kane shows up, Nate is like a rabbit caught in headlights, attempting to explain what went wrong. However, Kane loses it and punches Nate to the ground. Kane punches Nate until Tracy begs him to stop because he is furious. While Tracy withdraws from her relationship with Nate, Kane disowns his son despite Nate's ongoing emotional denial about anything happening with Moira. As Tracy retreats to a separate room, desperate Nate is distraught about everything he has lost and is granted time to say farewell to Frankie. But will the blameless Nate truly walk out on his own? 4. Will Taylor's blackmailer is threatening him as he is ready to face his fate, Will is anxious to hear from the blackmailer and is desperate to figure out who he is dealing with. A tense Will waits for the blackmailer in a lay-by. However, Will has no choice but to follow Caleb to assist in putting out the barn fire while keeping the blackmail money hidden. After missing the drop, Will soon gets a call and a menacing message. Will fights to keep his fear in check, but will wife Kim Tate, Claire King, find out about his infidelity? Who is the one torturing him? Years before making his soap opera debut, Billy Fletcher's Emmerdale actor Jay Consul rose to stardom on a reality show. In December 2018, the actor, who used to be Billy, the previous bad boy, made his debut in the well-known Dales. Since then, he has solidified his place in the hearts of the soap opera's devoted fanbase. Billy has also been involved in a number of significant plots, ranging from his catastrophic marriage to Olivia Bromley's character Don Taylor to their son Evan's shocking leukemia diagnosis. In addition, despite their growing financial problems, he is currently concealing a significant secret from Don on the soap opera. This week, following several weeks of conjecture, it was disclosed that Billy had been participating in unofficial boxing contests. Billy has been participating in the games in an effort to help his family out financially, since they have been having financial difficulties ever since Evan's diagnosis. John Sugden, Oliver Farnworth, and Mackenzie Boyd, Lawrence Robb, finally learn of his secret. The latter assisted in dressing Billy's injuries sustained during a boxing battle. Don, his spouse, is still mostly in the dark, though. But before appearing on Emmerdale, actor Jay appeared on ITV in a completely different capacity. The actor performed as a boy band vocalist on The X Factor and Britain's Got Talent. In 2011, Jay and three buddies formed a band named The Mend, and they went on The X Factor as contestants. However, because they had previously signed a management contract, which was against the competition's regulations, they were asked to leave at the boot camp stage. However, the band returned to television the following year and appeared in front of Simon Cowell, Amanda Holden, Alicia Dixon, and David Williams for an audition for Britain's Got Talent. Jay and his band made it to the BGT final, where they ultimately placed seventh. When Jay discussed his boy band days in 2022, he acknowledged that the music business put him off. He told Inside Soap, The insight I gained into the industry was the best thing about being in a band. We worked with people at the top of their game, like Simon Cowell, the speaker continued. However, the commercial aspect of music ultimately turned me off. It was a memorable encounter. I've kind of moved on, so I don't really talk about it anymore.